Internet, Grid Gaming here. Today we are on the opposite side of the little TNT cannon thingy. And today we are building more dangerous, dangerous things. Like explosives, things that hurt you. And we are building a slot machine that can kill you. Deadly slot machine. Okay, we'll just get right into it. You need a dispenser. You need obsidian. You need a block. I'll just use my normal block. I'll grab that later. You either need a lever or a button. I'll use a lever. Because that looks better. And you could use an observer if, if you want. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you two different ways to do it. I'll do a button on one of them. And then you need dangerous stuff and not so dangerous stuff that I will get after we've built the basics. Alright, I'm going to grab this. Here is the first one. The one that looks more like a slot machine. Alright. Now I'll grab an item frame. And then I'll just look around for something. We'll do this. It looks kind of like a slot machine cover. There we go. That actually doesn't look bad. We'll grab a sign. A hopper. A chest. I've just realized some different things. Actually, no, I'm going to grab it. A dispenser works. So then what you do... Actually, you don't even need this. This works... This one is going to work like a slot machine. But not look like one. What I'll do is I'll do a little system where there's the dispenser down here. Oopsie. There's the dispenser down here and you need some lava. Then what you can do is you put a sign that says one gold to spin um, slot machine. Then what you do, this is this actually works with any item, but what you do is you have to get some redstone down here. You need a comparator. Comparator. So what you got to do is you got to place the comparator facing this way and turn it on like that. Now when there's an item in there, it'll turn the comparator on. Now I'm done with this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need. I'll, I'll save the lever for later. Then what you do is you get a repeater and some redstone. Oh, I forgot that they can power themselves. Repeater. You go like this, so that it'll power. When when you put something in it, it'll spin, but then drop the item into lava, so it can't be re-gotten uh, later. Can't be retrieved. Oopsie. You could do this, or you could just put a chest down there where someone else goes and grabs it. But then you also have to put some redstone up to power that. Now what you do, now that the redstone is done, I'll replace all the blocks over this. Test it out. I'll just grab some gold. Yeah, it burns up. Alright, and it'll also fire this. Let's just try putting a gold in there. Oh, pfft, duh. Okay, now it should work. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll put all this in our inventory. 
then grab nine different things that will work in there. We'll grab some fire charges. We'll grab two fire charges. We'll grab some cobwebs. Oops. We'll grab some gold. And then we'll grab a diamond blocks. And so what happens is it randomly chooses which one to give you. And so it can either give you a fire charge. It can either give you a fire charge, a cobweb, it, it, it could give you your money back, or give you a diamond block. Now we'll take it and try it out. Oops. Okay, it gave me my money back. It gave me a cobweb there, so I lose. Now it shot me a fire charge. Another cobweb. How many times have I done it now? Five. This is number six. Six times to get the jackpot. Now I'll restock it, except for the fire charge. And there we go. Here's your own little lottery thingy. Now I'll show you how to make one that... I actually, first I'll clean it up real quick. There we go. Now you can't get into the dispenser very easily. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.